welcome back to season 11 in SnowRunner, y'all. And if you remember at the end of the last episode, we kind of got ourselves into a bit of a sketchy situation where one of our trucks was high centered and we weren't able to finish the job we were doing. Well, I kind of got fed up with messing around and so I brought this and we're going to be fixing this situation promptly, very, very promptly. So right there, is the stranded truck in question and there's also a 963 right here that is frankly very low on fuel and not much help to us at this present moment in time it tried it tried its best but it just wasn't able to pull through in the end so let's go ahead and move it we'll let it chill up here and then now we're gonna grab this g500k twin steer we're gonna lock every single available differential and we're gonna see if we can pull that trailer or rather truck and trailer the rest of the way up this mountain. And once we get it off of the area that it's stranded on, I don't think it's gonna be all that much of an issue. So let's see. First of all, we're gonna hook it up to the corner of the trailer. So we have some decent leverage. And well, Looks like we might be back where we started. Well, that's kind of, that's kind of demotivating. Um, come on. Let's see if we can give it a little bit more of a pull. And nope. It's not interested. I forgot how insanely temperamental that, uh, that eight slot super heavy is. Because if it gets upset with you, if it gets high centered, it is designed, it is literally by the design of the game for it to not let you go any further because it wants you to have to struggle with that trailer. It wants you to be required to struggle with that trailer. And I'm frankly very done with that trailer's specific landing gear being the sort of, uh, the sort of super villain to the existence of every other rig that I've tried to run. So, whoo, do not. Come on. Oh, I think we're making, I think we're making some progress here. We might be. Oh, come on. Maybe a little bit, but not enough that it was like any sort of concrete progress. But maybe if we keep trying, I think that's further than we were before. Oh, come on. Oh my God. It's doing something. Come on, fire up. Let's go. Oh, it is trying. It is so trying. Um, this is like the worst recovery ever. Let me get a photo. <laughs> I love how I'm like, this is the worst recovery I've ever had to do. Let me get a photo of it real quick. But no, like seriously, this is the worst recovery I've had to do in a long time. All right, we have one more option in my, well, at least in my opinion, we have one more option. And that is to come down here and try to pull it once again from the trailer. Because here's the thing, that almost worked. And it is. Oh, come on. Oh, we are so close. We are so close. You can do this. I know you can do this. Just as long as we give it a little bit more and a little bit more. We got it! Holy crap, we got it. And so now, all that's left is to get all of those beams up to the top of this mountain. Now, I know that this is gonna be a little bit of a trek, and so I'm obviously not gonna make y'all watch the entire climb, because it's gonna take a while, but like, the fact that it took us that long, and we finally managed to get it, is like, it's both like painful and also very exciting that we finally got that thing unstuck. I'm so happy that we finally got that thing unstuck. That is like worth celebrating. The fact that we genuinely were able to do that 
not only am I proud of the, like, I'm proud of this truck for being able to get it unstuck, but I'm frankly also really proud of the other truck for even making it this far. So I've decided to switch back to this thing and oh, that looks like it was a mistake. Oh, no, 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 no. I do not want to like, I do not want a repeat of what happened earlier. Oh, geez. All right, well, let's hope we can um, sort of remedy this issue. Um, I don't know how much good going diagonally will do, but God dang it. Oh, I am so upset by this. Because I'm like, we just fixed this problem. We just fixed this problem. And now, oh, oh okay. All right. That's, that's just grand. I have one more idea, one more strategic approach, I think. Because we've got some trees over here that we can winch to. And if need be, we can winch the trailer, which is what I'm going to do. So, oh, perfect. Okay. Low plus and pull with the, let's see, pull the trailer. God, this just digs in and is like, no. And you would have to imagine that like, if the snow functioned more like real snow, it would kind of just push through it unless the snow was hard packed enough then obviously it wouldn't push through but like I don't I don't know I'm kind of regretting leaving the uh the G500K back there kind of regretting it I'm really regretting it because this is not going well this is not going well at all can I reach that light pole no okay wait a minute Fire it back up, put it in low, and leave the handbrake off. Because A, I mean, it's not like it's going anywhere. And B, we're going to need the G500K again to get it up this section of the hill as well. I don't really think there's any section of the hill that this thing has actually been able to climb by itself that features any kind of, you know, small rise in the terrain. Cause yeah, it's just like, it's just like, no, I'm not going anywhere. And you can't make me apparently. Oh, this is gonna be another one, isn't it? It's gonna be another one of those spots that we spend forever at. The top of the mountain is right there. Okay, let's see. Let's grab you there. Still not gonna work. Grab you there, still not gonna work. Oh my God. Maybe I really should have just taken the go around. I mean, I know that the go around is really tight and there's probably corners that we wouldn't have been able to make. But even so, I almost wonder if that would have been better than dealing with this crap over and over again. Come on. Oh my God, I am so, I am so done. I am, I am so done with this. Oh, we're gonna try some different options and approaches here because this is just frankly not working. We got it! We got it! Okay, I'm gonna actually stay over here to the side because I think it might make things a little easier for us because there's another lip right there that I think could also cause us trouble. So this is just a tad bit flatter. Obviously it does start to kind of get torn up on the edge, but I think, woo, that's very sideways. Oh my God, that's very sideways. I'm not so much worried about the cargo as I am worried about the trailer getting, well, that. That right there. Um, cool, cool. Come on. This has been painful. This has been the most painful delivery ever in SnowRunner. I cannot think of another delivery that has been more painful than this one. This is the actual worst. The actual genuine worst. I, I, I can't literally think of anything worse in SnowRunner than this. Oh, I didn't mean to turn my lockers off. No! Oh, it is pulling me back. It's, well... If it's anything like the last one, 
we still can fix it. It no! Oh, we went too far away. Hold on. There we go. I think it's just gonna be more of the same game over and over until we get it unstuck. Honestly, that was shockingly an even longer process than getting it unstuck from the last area that had an issue. So, I really don't know what to tell y'all about this mountain other than it is punishing. It is so bad. It is bad to the level of if you're planning on going up that mountain, honestly, I would just recommend doing multiple truckloads with like four unit flatbeds like this rather than that eight unit trailer because honestly, you'll probably spend less time doing that than I did doing this. So at the end of the day, I, I don't know if I can recommend uh, this strategy to anybody because frankly, I don't know if it's all that effective. Um, it, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it is so much that I'm just gonna warn you, if you do this, if you choose to take a truck with that big of a trailer, or rather this trailer specifically, up that mountain, you better be ready for what's about to happen. All right, one, two, three, four, done. Great, now we can begin construction. And I get my XP, and I also get my cash, and you know what? I am so happy that that's over. I'm also gonna run my radar because I haven't run any of the portable radar units up here, and I really want to see, like, what's around. There's also a task called Look What I Can Do, and I'm a little nervous to go and figure that out. It's probably a recovery, to be brutally honest, but I've never explored this part of the map before, so that may definitely be something that we get into next.